And these are the type of things that people often underestimate. And actually, I'm 99% sure that's silver. This one here, 1,000 to 1,500. Police Department of New York City, 1967. Police Department of New York. Wow. Decorate of Special Investigations Headquarters, USA. COA sign comes at the plaque. But to me, that still has a couple thousand dollar value. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is Yai, your captain speaking, and we are here for another adventure. Sit back, hold tight, put your seatbelts on, but we are in my storage. I'm going through stuff. As always, I got stuff for the YouTube auctions. I got stuff for eBay, got stuff for flea market. Organizing, because tomorrow Jack and I are going to go through this again, and we're going to spread it all out. I'm working on a recap video of the whole $5,000 storage unit, and we got somebody maybe come by to look at shirts. We got a lot going on. Maybe we'll take some clips of stuff. I find stuff we haven't seen. Maybe show some stuff in detail, but anyway, that's what's on the plan today. Let's see what Trey treasures lurks hidden that we haven't seen yet we're going through and making lots of boxes this is stuff that i'm just going to end up this is actually youtube auction sewing stuff we got stuff like cds right here etc etc and then i found some hats right we got stuff like cds etc etc hats and i thought cool look at these hats we sorted some for the youtube auction some for the flea market i found this one and i thought to myself right away i don't know why but i feel like jack needs this look locker nut right locker nut i don't know but i'm gonna keep this one i'm gonna give this to jack and we got a lot of stuff that's not quite i got so much stuff for the auction and so forth we gotta take some stuff to the market like these are just like ten dollar slippers we got some type of brand new jacket just random things but i have to get some of this to get out of here in some way in a fashion efficient form his business is always a lot of work so i gotta organize my trailer get ready so we can stuff in here now we start the loading process we're getting stuff whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh. That's a nuts a little Jordan find right here. Probably the best Jordan find in 10 years. For you or for the world? For the world. You think so? I think so. They do look never worn, but that's just... I know, it sucks, but... What did that? Just time? Just time. Brand new. Are you going to take it to a shoemaker? Look at this. Look at this sole. It's never seen... How come you haven't just this got rid of this? Time, you... This is the first time I'm like really opening it and shit and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> Anybody want any feta cheese? What do you yeah, what do you do with it? Why why haven't you taken that out? Are you just, I've been so nervous about this fine, dude. This you like you afraid of getting time. rid of these pieces? Yeah, I'm gonna glue it all back together. <laughs> Wonder what it would cost to have those fixed. I think it's like six hundred bucks. Oh, the person kinda knew what they had or what? A little I got I got thirteen pairs of shoes and oh. two hundred shirts. For four hundred? For four hundred. They didn't know what they had they didn't then. Know what they had. You just bought 200 shirts? How many of you listed at eBay? Oh, oh gosh, that is horrible. Completely gone, though. Where'd they sit in a closet or oh, they what? Were, they were in three trunks. That's Rafferty. That's sad. It's so nice and Rafferty all at the same time. Somebody's gonna pay big money for these. It's gonna be Mike. <laughs> That's the most professional thing I've ever seen. Jack it's, walking with a briefcase. It's Coach. Oh, look at you. Isn't that nice? It's coach, fancy. It is. You want to upgrade to a Louis? It makes me feel fancy. Ooh, that's a Louis? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Dang. My hands are cool. I'm sorry. That's nice. There's a long story behind that purse. Oh, uh, yeah? Wait, this is not... No, that's not the one. So one of the things Jack and I are doing today is we're going through and separating things that we need to auction, eBay, get graded, etc., etc. We got a lot of sports cards, and these are things I'm determining that I think we should get graded if you remember seeing these. This card right here is a Herschel Walker rookie card. It, it, it looks flawless. Condition, corners, everything. This comes back at 10 that is like a $1,500 card. Things like that are well worth our time that we're gonna take our effort to. And even these here, we found out that through the love of you guys helping us out, these are very valuable. They're called Tiffany sets. Much like the Tiffany, the, the jewelry maker. Look at that. These are very valuable. You're looking at like six to 800 bucks, I think, for these. But if they're graded, they're much more valuable. So we're gonna, like I said, we're setting things aside. You will see things like this. Probably already auctioned on either Jack and I's channel, but that's what we're going to do. What do we got here? Sealed set of hockey. Someone said, look for Gren Gretzky's rookie. It's the most priceless card ever. Then there's stuff like this that we're going to be going through slowly. Things like this do have some great value, right? There's Don't don't get me wrong. We These books have value, very old Bibles. And then we have books that have serious potential. So we're going to do things like this. We're going to set these aside, take them to a book expert, get them all laid out, etc. Et find out if we're not sitting on a million dollar book. And then we're also going to do things like auction this. You might find this beautiful stack on one of our auctions. This is an old Bible. Very old. 1800s. 
As I reveal video, it's gonna be hard to show you guys all the ephemera. Maybe A, you can see it on Jack and Mine's auction and stuff, but there's so much ephemera. It's just a small one little box you cleaned up, huh? Mm hmm Yeah. Bale's ditch ek, that's a legal word to say. That's not a curse word. Look at all these postcards, nice. Just like this, this is the regular cards. We're not excited, hard to reveal them all. We got a lot of these little trinkets and things that are, some of them are Boy Scout, some of them, and we have to be very careful on these because we had stuff from like the red sash and so forth that people are telling us a lot of these patches and stuff could be worth money. I started looking up and you guys are right. You guys are right. Very intense, like this one right here, I've never seen that. So many of these beautiful little trinkets that are gonna be exquisite to find out what all the value is. And a pack of marbles. What year are these? Because they usually say on the canister right here somewhere. 1944, this is World War II. So mm. that right away, this has more value than pre or post. So yeah, I would put that all on. I would make one. One big lot? Maybe one or two. Because you actually be surprised what a uh, World War II canteen goes for. Hmm. I'm surprised Harold didn't try to buy them off of us. I don't think he saw these. So, actually, let's just go through that one now. We'll spread it out. Um, but he doesn't, he's not going to buy it. The amount of military stuff we found was not very vast. I think there might be one or two more boxes that will have some stuff like this. But there is a lot of little value that adds up. These are all for where your cartridges would, your uh, projectiles would slide in there and then you go boom right into your magazine. These type right here. These are World War II, always clearly dated, which is nice. World War II is usually the best stuff to find. 1944, US, GP, and F Co. We got a World War II backpack, World War II belt clips, etc., etc., and some Bunsen burners. That is a great little collection of World War II. Lots of sealed cards Desert Storm, Dawn Russ, packs. One thing you see in these little videos we're doing like right now is the behind the scenes. A lot of times when people watch my videos, I know, and maybe even Jack sometimes, people are like, don't forget to overlook this and don't forget, you know, and they they see us in a mad hurry just going through stuff. The fact is we're trying to make videos. The videos take lots of time, but after you come back here and you actually filter everything, looking for that one gold coin we might have overlooked or that book with the hundred dollar bills, you know, something of that nature, you know, might have been this. Look at that. I, I got the paper i threw it and it balanced on there i need to go play the lotto jack and here we are it is monday morning got jack here locker nuts and we are going back at it we got a lot of sorting out to do in this storage i'm trying to make this nice reveal recap video so we're processing all of that making piles look at jack and his little professional cute little totes over here and that's what we're doing continuing on look at that zigzags we don't like those and he used rubbers for real cheap f it's what it says jack look <laughs> As we go through, there's finding lots of things. It's going to be hard to show you just straight reveals of everything. Like this is just paperwork. We got a Sammy Hagar sticker. We got postcards. We got the Thimble Cub collectors. We got little patches because somebody was a hall monitor at their school, you know? 69 Fever. Who don't like that? Because, you know, my favorite number. And it's just an onslaught of ephemera, which will be able to be seen piece by piece on one of our auctions. That is sexy right there. Blackout Tour 1982. Do we have a Scorpion shirt? That's a poster from it. That'd be a good item to sell with the shirt, maybe. These are the type of things that people often underestimate. Ephemera. We got the firm. We got Accent Russian Roulette Tour. Those are the type of things that will do really good in my eyes because those are vintage programs doing this recap is gonna be a little harder than i thought because we have just so much stuff we're separating i'm gonna try to do things like this just show you all one quick thing we have lots see like look here's a pen lot we're gonna do a pen lot we've got whatever these are lots right here we have like ooh, found a million dollars a million bucks it's just a lot of stuff but there's no trash involved in a reveal like this. That's what you see here. This was sterling silver. You might remember this on my video, I think. You might not. It's got that patina, some type of ashtray. Very old. And that's just basically what, what's, what's, what's going on here. We're sorting. We got ephemera lots. We got, I don't know what lots. We got miscellaneous lots. The process that we have to go through to look at each item. Is that silver? 
Is it not? It actually, I'm 99% sure that's silver though. That one ring is brass though. You can see this last one. And then the other question is if you see that there's like a, there's a break in that. See there's not soldered, which is usually not silver. We do have some things we're not going to just straight junk to the flea market. And we're not going to put on our YouTube auction. So it's going to be a little, nothing but sorting out process. Like these copper pots here. To the right person they have value. That went to the satellite system. So we're going to put that on the internet. This is very valuable right here i think this is officially the first twerking video photo I've, I've, I've ever known in existence right here this is where it all started right here and there we have it one whole box now of clean ephemera slides postcards for sale so that whole box of dolls probably this will end up being one or two lots on the internet just like it is do you agree with that jack yeah on the youtube auction Nice stuff. I don't know what the value is in this. I'm, I presume there's a couple hundred dollars in dolls here, but I could be wrong. A lot of people will be like, that's a priceless doll and this and that. But the fact is they really don't have that resale value unless you sit on it for 22 years until one person wants that doll for $27.99. This was a cute little bottle. Would have been a nice sale, but look, it's chipped all the heck. So stuff like that, I'm not going to even waste my time on. You know that they there's a lot of speculation that Hitler created meth because it was to help keep his soldiers awake. And really? Yeah, I, I, I believe I've heard that or read it somewhere that Hitler was involved in creating meth. These are sterling right here. Rum, Mardaria. Oh, you can't get these out unless you unlock it. This one doesn't really, this is just to open that up. It doesn't oh. have a locked one. This is the one that's locked. So you all got to figure out about this, this piece here. I think it's a scale. I don't know. I haven't quite got that far yet. This baby right here, pretty nice. I don't know if there's something in there. I'm intrigued. It's a little heavy. It takes a skeleton key. I'm thinking maybe what if it's a Rolex or a jewelry box, something hidden here because it's locked. That's the way the mentality is in the storage business is you think everything that locks is a safe. I don't see any reason to really thumb through this. I see potential. Here we have a Pat Mahone Skybox rookie. Some Skybox. We got Donruss. We got Score. We got Top. All roughly late 80s, early 90s. A couple packs. So this will probably just be a lot like this on YouTube. Wow, do they, do they really make blueprints of stuff like that? I guess, because I've never seen that. 1982, so it's before they could like email them. Oh, and yeah. The finished product. So $760 in 1982. It's interesting. That is weird. Herschel Walker, Mark Rippy and Rookie card. I don't know if that's a 10, but that might be a good one. It said 25 back then. Yeah. And it's a Redskins card, so. Building a fireman lot. Here we go. It's got that's cool. fireman certificate, jacket. I like that. Director, Decorate of Special Investigations, Headquarters, USAF, Washington, D.C., Founders Mutual Fund. So that doesn't go with that. And one complete box of ephemera, various different ephemeratic pieces. One huge box of nonsense. We'll see how this does. This will be a last resort auction box, stuff like this. It has some value. We've got some 45s, et cetera, et cetera. But nothing of extreme extremity. Yeah. How many of these things you got? I don't think I have any. Uh, die cast you mean? Yeah. I don't think I've taken any die cast yet. Alright, there you go. It's a good box. You want me to do a lot of die cast? Oh, I've taken the little ones. Les Brooks been buying them. I've been doing a lot. I mean, I've done a few of those, but yeah, you take this. Alright. I don't know if you want that lid. He's got another load off. I've got another load off. It's Monday. I don't know how this video is going to work out because it's never made one like this. But we're going to, he's going to take that for auction. I'm going to take that for auction. Jack and I are here again. It's the next morning. I don't even, I'm days are blending together Tuesday. We're going through stuff once again. I remember this piece and I thought this was cool. Let's see if we can get everybody a sneak peek. Look at this. Wow, it's like the Washington Monument or something. Is that what that is? I've never seen a postcard like that, and that is the coolest thing I think I've seen in a while. Wow. What is this? She is feeding a bear. No fear. Literally. That is wicked. Oh, and she's touching a deer. Look at her. What is this lady doing? Look at her. Is that a real bear, or am I tripping? That's got to... No, that's got to be a real bear, huh? Because the other picture... Otherwise, I'd say it was probably stuffed. Is she the bear whisperer? I don't know. And, and it, there's another deer. There's another bear. And there is a chicken. Wow, she loved animals. Oh, this is a lot of ephemera. I remember this box. This is weird stuff. Like every piece is good paper. Officer's Wives Club. Look at that. 
There's just endless amounts of ephemera here. The New York chapter of teachers in Spanish. And then we get into photos. We've got photos. We've got photos. I like to go to this airport because it means I left where I'm at right now and I'm somewhere else. That would be nice. Ooh, look at this. They're in the boats. I like these photos. Look at all these people. What in the hell are they doing? Is that a boat race? There's a cow in the water and a dog. And everybody's just lined up watching this. What is this? Tour de a corde terce bullfight on the street. Oh, it's a water bullfight or something. This is a good photo. Or no, they're, maybe they're watching the bullfight from the water. I'm just, there's just so much going on here. I still can't figure out why there's a cow in the water. I didn't either. Well, it's probably Craigslist. This is wicked. There's just like the, the maps. And maps are very valuable too. Don't underestimate maps, Jack. I've, I've sold lots of maps on eBay before. Wine list. This is amazing, all of these. Musical scrapbook from Germany. I know I didn't get this far down there. Madam Souvenirs. Okay, this is wicked. Winter sports, that's, oh, man. Specialties of the chef for my sweetheart. I just don't even know what to do with all this, Jack. This one says air staff instructions. Nothing, it's clickbaited. I was clickbaited. Look what Jack just found last second. I don't know if I remember seeing this. That's the hat pin, right? Is that what it is? It looks like it's gonna yeah. screw Yeah. That is nice though, because remember the other guy, Mark, the other guy, he got the West Point outfits, remember? He showed us hanging up. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're not, su West Point outfits are always the most, are not super expensive, but this would be more important than the hat because more people have the hat and lost that piece. So that's cool though. Well, we got the pin, sucker. This is the Gustav Becker? No, it's not. Yeah, isn't that it? Maybe, let's see the back again. Interesting, because also the violin is Anton Becker, right? So, like, that's what's just oh. throwing me off. I just, that, that correlation just came together. These are very pricey, Jack. I think our cuckoo clock is a couple thousand dollars for sure, but it actually has potential of working its way up depending on what era was made, the style, the components. They go up to, like, 20 grand. Yeah. That is. I don't know if we saw that the other day. Is that death? So. It was wrapped in on the bottom of that box. Yeah, Holland Dell. I've never seen one of those. It might have some type of value. Holland Deaf doesn't like stream, but there are some really good... Uh, it's a tobacco. I wasn't sure if it was because if there was like a screen in here, it would be like opium, mm. you know, plus, you know, how us Dutch are. We looked at this already. That's the one for the Air Force. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Are they all Air Force? I forget. No, it's all different. This, mm. is like in Japan or something. this looks good because of these four points here. Oh, yeah? It does say Japan. No, it doesn't. This is these are always a, a, a dignitative of I don't know if that's the right word. Older. That means they're hand spun. Those are the mm -hmm. break off points, you know, and they're whoosh, 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 mm. at the end is anything you ever say like that means hand spun. But that could be hall, it could be all sorts of things. I just went through this whole box. I'm looking for the million dollar card. Granted, we're gonna be auctioning most of this stuff. I'm I don't want to let go of a uh, ten thousand dollar card because we didn't pay attention. So I'm looking at things. We have cool little sets. We got upper deck. We got these little posters that were kind of cool. Although they're little cutouts. They're original little sheets. And a lot of little loose cards. So these cards will end up in the auction on one of our channels. Every little item to me represents potential of gold coins. I just snatched it up out of the box thinking that's the gold coins. That's the gold coins. I want to find gold coins. Maybe in the near future. Bavarian. Very interesting. I would say you get a, there's enough for a lot, right? It's a medium flat rate. Yeah, you want to do these? That one's not. That one wasn't United well, Nations? It's, it's bigger. It messes up the integrity of the box, right? Okay. See those fit in a medium, that becomes another box. So like, Maybe we find some other stuff and then we'll make that decision. Keep the United Nations in. 1939 World's Fair. Things from the World's Fair. Remember we had that table. Remember? The World's yeah. Fair seems to be a recurring topic in our store units because we're buying... Stuff people keep forever. Oh, right? yeah. Well, you're probably going to find, when you buy the units that, like, we look for, where it's, um, the person, there was obviously older generation, they all lived in this area, so at some point they at least toured it, went to it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Do they even have World's Fairs anymore? Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay, Vintage Fiesta Bowl from a four. Fiesta Bowl was a good one. You ever find the brand Fiesta? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-nine ninety-five. Okay. So a lot of, uh, new old stock cards and stuff. Thinking of you. What do you think, greeting cards? We could try it. We could take a lot out of them. I think that that's worth a lot. Not like a lot of money, but it's worth putting in a lot. Look at Jack over here. He learned the word Rosenthal today, and now he's obsessed with China. Germany. That's probably pretty decent. Meiterbach. How about Bavaria? Knows every piece of China says Bavaria. 
Yeah. I wish I knew the answer to that. Like why? why? Bavaria Invent China. What's your least, one of your least favorite boxes you ever find in a storage unit? Mm, it's definitely China's up there, but mine's wine glasses. Yeah. I hate them. The junk mail boxes get tiny too. These are neat though. Look how old they are. See how they have the etched crystal on it? Yeah. And then if you look, see the glass is like okay, it's not. I thought it was old to the point that there's not. It just seems to be cleaned a little bit, but almost like Princess House. Want to do a locker food challenge? Locker sodium challenge. Oh, secanol, sodium, secobartol, sodium capsules. I've been wanting to see this because somebody asked me if this was a. There was a comment about this being a possible Ansel Adams, but it says Fisk right here. I don't know much about that. But then there's this item right here. Remember this one, Jack? Been getting a lot of comments about this. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing. We'll go through that later because all this good stuff will, that we're setting aside, I'm going to do one final layout of all that as well. But I'm hearing a lot of positive feedback that that is the West Point guy is the most sought after one. Well, yep. yeah, that's what the word dump means, the flea market, guys. It doesn't mean we're going to the landfill. It means we go to the flea market and we sell it. Mm. School day treasures. Here we go, Jack. Oh, that's good. What'd you get for that book yesterday? That was a uh, nice looking book. I'm kind of sad. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Right, it's all right. Look, here, here's Bob Charters, a baseball player. No, hit the water. Okay, I got 45 bucks for that huge photo album. And I'm kind of sad because that was a good photo. Look at that cannon right there. Wow. Is that the Titanic? No, some good photos. Oh, we went to the beach. All right. Mm, I stand corrected. We have more potential here. Look. Now you come over here and you see these photos signed by, these are Fisk. Yeah. This one here, George Fisk, 1,000 to 1,500. George Fisk, 1,000 to 1,500. Okay, I think we have a $1,000 to $1,500 piece of photography. That's that big one, right? That's this that's one, right? One. That's this right here. Yeah, that's, uh, oh. There's one that's three to four grand. There's a similar one for four to six, but it just really depends on where it's at and stuff. What do we do with that, Jack? Let's set that aside for now, I guess, because that has potential. It has potential. It has great potential. Has potential power. All these little letters <laughs> stamped in out to somebody, ripped up in half, but it has the stamps on them. That's cool. There's some type of award. Purposes and the sharks. This is like a, a pirate award to all sailors. I've seen this before. I've seen that somewhere. Police Department of New York City, 1967, leave of absence. Mm. Police Department of New York. Wow. See, that's what... We, I think all those things need to be in their own ephemera, not just like mixed in, but the yeah. New York police lot. That's real good. Railways, look at that. Ooh, it's all good paper. It is. All right, you're, you're not just throwing it away. No, no. Uh, these guys, oops, these guys had a good eye, didn't they? Who? What they kept, these guys that collect, collected this. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily a good eye or it's just most of this stuff is what people did, you know? Like this is just their life, where they where they went, where they ate. Obviously they were very talkative people, you know. That's how everybody communicated back then. You didn't just pick up a phone every day and call people, you know? Nope. No texts. We have some people don't understand that, like like when cell phones first came out, that was such a luxury because like imagine being a trucker. Truckers used to have to drive 200 miles to find a pay phone to be able to make their phone call. And then all of a sudden one day they just had a phone. Technology. Imagine Paul Revere used to have to go on a horse. You know? Jack, you seem to be having a lot of fun with dishes. You want to go through this one? Ooh. Ooh, almost broke that. Look at that nice piece of Fenton. I don't think that goes on there, but this is look reminds me of Fenton. Fenton can be good. I bet six of those cups would do well. West Virginia glass. Mm. We've been all over the map on this recap. I just literally left Jack. I'm at home. I'm getting ready to pack up auctions with the stuff in this unit. So it's really hard to do. I didn't know how to do this. I've never really done full recap videos. The only time I ever have is if I'm in my storage, it's completely empty, laid everything on tables. You don't touch nothing. That's kind of hard to do. We got a lot of money invested. We need to make more. So I've been just trying to show you piece together one whole video of what we thought was the best of stuff, what went to the auctions, what's getting looked at, et cetera, et cetera. And just a, hmm, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I sold in my auction yesterday, what I'm packing now it's all from this unit all laid out nice and pretty so this was a, this was kind of a disappointment sometimes photo albums do really well but everything in life works out two ways and we sold a whole thick book of really cool black and whites a lot of good photos some of them are just family portraits and some are some really cool ones that sold for 45 bucks that was eh. these buttons here 
we sold. This is all the Franklin Roosevelt buttons, not to be confused with the other buttons we have that were political, but we did two lots. I broke it down like this. We had ephemera. We started doing a little bit of stamps. This is just a smidgen. We have so much to go. I'm saving that trunk for the end. A military photo album, paraphernalia lot. We sold stuff like that. You come over here and you look, we have baseball cards. I think these were not from this unit, so don't look at those. But all this, I sold the Willie Mays ball, I think for 150 with the COA. That was a cool item. A lot of people had interest in that in both the videos. And it's just one of the legends. It's one of the greats right there. COA signed, comes with the plaque, did stuff like that cards i made lots like these things are cool but like how do you list stuff like this i i am personally not time so i like i like that we do this where there's a little bit of value for the person who bought this i think that only sold for like well let's see right here that sold for 15 dollars actually so there was a lot of value left in the table i'm going to ship it for 12 bucks we have this lot here all these military buttons you come in here and we have just lots of lots it was nice stuff is it looks much better when you start to spread it out through all the dust and the ashes and the rat poop and everything baseball cards that lot did all right i think that was 30 or 40 bucks there that was for upper decks we've been listing those in lots like that on the auctions granted cards are making a comeback we're still some things are not very valuable in my eyes that they don't get high volume of money you know this is a nice set 1990 score I think I sold this for 20 bucks and I'm going to ship it for 12 bucks. So I actually only made eight. It's sometimes easier to do things in just a cash transaction or on Craigslist or so forth. Maybe you could have done them in a couple more. But these books also, if you put this in, it's going to be more expensive shipping when you put start to put two in a bigger box and go by the weight, et cetera, et cetera. So didn't have any great money in these, but it was still, we're getting it out there and people are getting to collect. We got, did these in two lots. It's averaging about a dollar a pack on those. And this lot right here, actually, I think this one did kind of cool at 30 bucks. I was told by a lot of people, old cigarettes cases have money. So I just did that lot. And that is pretty much everything so far I've had wrapped up out of this storage unit. Now we're down at the flea market picking. We got all this stuff right here so for 800. Going we're going through stuff for the YouTube auction. This is the thing that Spencer's been asking about, asking about, isn't it? He keeps saying somebody dinosaur there you go 1993 i gotta google it if spencer wants it it must be good this goes on something people said possibly an inkwell it's a whole little cool little box this thing's like pretty much all auction stuff all of these franklin mint motorcycles are ebay so that's four ebay items these are auction items in my opinion we got a box of clock parts here this is stuff that it, to me it's just it's just clocks, Jack. I would just auction it, maybe. Auction it? auction it or throw it away. Let's throw it away. No, that'll piss everybody off. I just wanted to say that. So all the clock enthusiasts will be like, you don't know what you're doing. I would have took that in a heartbeat for free. It's... We'll put this in a YouTube auction basketball. Ephemera. It's great for YouTube auction. Ephemera. Who knows what catchy tune that actually goes to that I was just thinking, what famous car. We have a whole lot of camera stuff. We're probably going to do this stuff. It's not like great, but it's not useless. We'll probably either Facebook Marketplace or YouTube auctions on that. Um, Tons of small. Look at this. Little purses, Jack. This old Little Look, you got a whole crate of those. Ephemera. All sorts of good stuff. That's a good box right here. Yeah. That's good, that's good. I see that briefcase. It had one sheet of cards that was good. And the rest was junk. We filmed it on my video. Oh, okay. Yeah. It wasn't junk junk, but it wasn't exciting to me. I was like... Oh, oh that's right. I remember the fantastic. Yeah. Now we've dwindled down the sorting process. We have got it down to... This stuff's pretty cool. Some stuff needs to be researched. Some stuff needs PSA. Some stuff's really nice, like this Fisk. Now we're going to downsize these piles into more auction piles which we've been doing we got stuff everywhere like this here's a box like this that jack's doing we got lots of stuff that's going on facebook marketplace or another avenue like example this will be all one lot all of these scrolls the the book press is cool even though i destroyed it moving it the gustav becker grandfather clock this piece right here is actually pretty nice gustav becker grandfather clocks actually retail for a fair amount of money very nice I think this is a few thousand dollar item, this Gustav Becker right here. And it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty good shape. That will go on Facebook Marketplace, etc., etc. Then we have the weights. They're like this. We found these in a box. Look at the quality on these. I feel like throwing one of these on Michael's head right now. He's over here yelling at me. Stuff I have to cut out you guys don't get to see. Very nice though. Two of these. The Grundig right there, that's a couple hundred dollars. That will end up on Facebook Marketplace as well. That is a very solid sale. The cash register, I think we're going to try on Facebook Marketplace. 
What do you think? We will try this. Maybe I'm thinking 100. We have a huge lot of cameras here that you've seen in the videos. We even have some refined stuff where we save to set aside for another market. We have things like this. This will end up at a, a nicer market someday or something. A small pile of that right here. Electronics. This we're going to still have to get to somebody. This is the the Zarelli Fratelli. Zari Fratelli violin it's got some old horsehair harps or i forget the word you call those the sticks you play with this is a couple thousand dollars in my they top out of 16 grand probably going to cost two three grand to get this thing in mint condition but to me that still has a couple thousand dollar value we haven't had yet to get this looked at though this antoine becker here is about a two to four hundred dollar antonio stradivarius copy that will possibly end up on an auction maybe or ebay one of the two this has gotten responses all over the map i see this is a 100 to 150 dollar item people said it's as much as 1500 but i don't think that it is i think it's just a standard tourist little nice piece falling apart but i see that as a 150 dollar sale there's no rhyme or reason i don't want to sit here and show you guys every little piece even though this is a recap but all these things will be in the videos it's just good stuff it's bulk old games nice boxes these things right here tiki stuff just chofskis and nice youtube auction stuff this stuff we can't auction stuff isn't gonna be ready to transport like no i just put it can you maybe you can blanket wrap these things in there the firefighter stuff right here that was a cool little lot narrowed the sports cars down quite a bit to what is worth grading these two sets are pretty nice definitely worth several hundred dollars but i don't know if it's worth grading because of this air right here this is called a tiffany set these two pieces right here are very nice then we have this little one that's at least 500 but if you get them graded they're very high grades and so far this is the amount of cards that i figured might be worth grading they're older ones this is a very nice Herschel Walker. It looks like it's off center to the right a little bit, but a 10 in this is a $1,500 card. You got this Willie McCovey here in pretty decent shape. Definitely worth grading. 1960. Don't know much about these, but the fact is, why not get them graded? Because they're definitely old cards. Look at Ron Santos rookie card. That looks like a pretty decent card. So these ones are ones that will not get just an auction. They got to get graded. 